Welcome to this video tutorial on how to change the password for the admin user of the Sysscope. I'm Marin from OpenText and I will guide you through the steps to reset your admin password in case you forget it or need to update it. In this video, I'll show you how to change the password for the admin user using the Persistency Viewer tool. This tool allows you to view and edit the configuration files of the Sysconf, including the user settings. Before we begin, make sure you have access to the Sysconf server and the Sysconf root directory. The Sysconf root directory is the folder where you install the Sysconf and it contains all the files and folders related to Sysconf. Let's get started. Firstly, start the Sysconf service. To do this, you can type service in the search box. Find the Sysconf service in the list and right click on it. Select stop. Okay, now go to the Sysscope root directory and open the bin folder. Inside this bin folder, you will find a file called persistencyviewer.bat. This is an executable file for the persistency viewer tool. Now we we need to select the persistency path. Click on the open button to load the configuration files. Now we need to filter by the user config. In the President Viewer window, you see the drop-down menu under the label filter by type. Click on it and scroll down till you find the user config. Select it to filter the configuration files by user settings. Now we need to find the admin user and change this password. In the filter list of the configuration files, look for the one that has the name admin. This is the file that contains the settings for the admin user. Double click on it to open it in a new window. You see a list of properties for the admin user such as ID, login name, the password. To change the password, double click on the property that say password. A dialog box will pop up, ask you to enter the new password and confirm it. Type the new password twice and click OK. <coughs> the password property will be updated with the new value. To save the change, click on the commit button at the bottom of the window. Now we close the persistent viewer and start the Sysconf service. Yeah. 
Now we try to with the new password to verify that the new password works. Open your web browser or the Sascope local client and go to the Sascope console. It will take time to start the Sasco service completely. Now enter the username and the new password that you just set and click on the login button. If the login is successful, you will see the Sasco dashboard. And congratulations, you have successfully changed the password for the admin user of Sasco. That's all for this video tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave your comment below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.